These are the video instructions for the toilet paper timeline activity, part of the History of Life lesson plan. It was created by Jackie Hainall and edited and narrated by Sean Krupa. This video and accompanying lesson plan are part of Ohio University's Boat of Knowledge in the Science Classroom project, funded by the National Science Foundation. In order to complete this activity, you'll need the following materials. A copy of either Jackie's handout or Yukon's handout. A roll of toilet paper per group of students. A ruler. Markers, sticky notes, and scissors if you're using Jackie's set of instructions. And finally, scotch tape. Now let's compare the different set of instructions you have to choose from. Jackie's has many more events. The total timeline will be about 50% smaller. It uses arrows and indicators to mark periods, and the focus is more on periods in the Earth's history rather than events themselves. The Yukon instructions will have fewer events, the timeline will be larger, it's a little bit more customizable, and it focuses more on events rather than periods. Now let's talk about scales. For Jackie's, the age of the Earth is set to 4.6 billion years, and students count out 230 sheets of toilet paper. This works out nicely to 20 million years per one sheet of toilet paper. For Yukon scale, the age of the Earth is rounded up to 5 billion years, and it uses 400 sheets of toilet paper. This works out to 12.5 million years per one sheet of toilet paper. It's important to note that regardless of which scale is being used, the toilet paper sheets will vary in length. Therefore, students also have to measure the length of their sheets and scale time to length, typically in millimeters. Now we're going to show a sample timeline that was created by Yukon's set of instructions. Remember, 5 billion years on this scale is equal to 400 sheets of toilet paper, and we said that that works out to 12.5 million years. The particular brand of toilet paper that was used had sheets that were 94 millimeters in length. This means that one millimeter on this scale using this toilet paper was 133,000 years and events were marked simply with sticky notes. So just how long is 400 sheets of toilet paper? Well, 400 sheets times 94 millimeters per sheet works out to 37,600 millimeters. That's 37.6 meters in length. The timeline took up space in three hallways. Here were the events used. It started with the Earth's formation, and then the solidifying of the crust, life appearing in the oceans, and then the first appearance of multicellular organisms, the arrival and extinction of the dinosaurs, the arrival of the first protohumans, the arrival of the first homo sapiens, and finally, recorded human history. As you can see, recorded human history, or the last 10,000 years, occurs at one-tenth of one millimeter from the end. So just how small is one-tenth of one millimeter? Well, the average thickness of a human hair is a half a millimeter wide. That means on this scale, on our timeline, recorded human history is one-fifth of a hair width at the end of the timeline. Here are some tips for completing your timeline. Because 40 squares of toilet paper is a lot more easy to manage than 400, if you break your timeline into 10 equal segments and then tape it back together, you can manage it more easily. All joking aside, single-ply toilet paper tore very easily and was hard to write on. It might be worth investing in a little bit higher quality toilet paper. Finally, 37.6 meters is bigger than you think. It's best to walk off 38 paces first when selecting an area to build your timeline. This concludes the video instructions for the toilet paper timeline. Thanks for your attention.